Metal Jesus here, and I am back again with Drunken Master Paul. Hey, gang, and we're here to do Gamer Eats for you once again, but this time we're doing it outside on the grill. This is gonna be awesome. Epic. Let's take a look. What we're gonna make for you is roasted stuffed peppers on the grill. Now, what we're gonna do is get some kind of smallish peppers, both jalapeno and kind of mild sweet ones. Then we're gonna make a stuffing of chorizo and cream cheese, cram that all in there. And of course, we're gonna cook this all on my awesome new grill. Size does matter. <laughs> so this is actually a pretty simple process. What you want to use is these kind of uh, jalapeno peppers. Now, they're not the little ones. These are going to be uh, a lot milder, but they're big enough to stuff. So, very simple process. Barely take the stem off like that, because you want this to be sealed up. And just split it right down the middle. And then I just use a melon baller to kind of scoop out the insides. Take the seeds out, and then just kind of scoop a little bit of that membrane out of there as well. Now, some people say that leave the seeds in, it's hotter. I don't find it makes it that much hotter, but it does make it bitter. Now that we have our little pepper boats ready to go, we need something to stuff in there. And what we're gonna use is this. Now this is onions sauteed and then chorizo. Now chorizo is kind of a uh, Mexican sausage stuff that's composed primarily of lips and assholes. Um, not unlike our political process. I swear to God, look at the ingredients list and it says glands. So I'm not kidding, lips and assholes, but you know, those can be tasty too. Anyway, what you do is you just take a skillet, uh, half an onion, dice it up real fine, and put a little bit of oil, saute the onions in the pan, then throw in, uh, in this case, a half a pound of the chorizo. Um, chorizo, chorizo. Liz is always busting on me for my pronunciation. Uh, saute all that together, and then let it cool a bit, and then you get this. Mmm, mmm, delicious. Mmm, delicious stuffing. Okay, so we have our uh, chorizo and a bit of cream cheese. I'm using about half a cube to start with and we'll add more if we need to. I've also found that the uh, best way to mix this stuff in is to not worry about a spoon, is to use the, uh, the original um, food processors and just kind of smush that all in there. Oh yeah. There we go. When you're selecting your peppers, remember these are gonna be on a grill. So try and find some that are either like nicely rounded like this, or maybe even have a flat side. Uh, nothing that's not too pointy and vertical, otherwise it's just gonna fall over. Now my grill is awesome, just because. But my grill is awesome because all the slats have little grooves in them, so I'm gonna be able to lay these in really nicely. Um, with your grill, if it just has a rod, you might be able to do that as well, but just kind of be aware of that. So take your pepper boat, I don't know why I'm calling them pepper boats now. And a, uh, just a wad, that's a little too much. A wad of the stuffing, you just kind of smush it down in there. Now you don't want to overfill these things because if you do, they might just slop over onto your grill and catch fire. Right, so we've got them all put together. Let's put these bad boys on the grill. Never leave home without an oil soaked rag, really. Lube the grill. Put them on. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Pretty fingers. There we go. All right. You got to keep an eye on these things because they are going to char, and that's what you want. You actually want a little bit of a char on it. So, in order to get everything cooked, get the top done and everything, put them in solitary confinement for a little bit. Just, just listen for the screams, and you'll know when they're done. A little whimpering. Oh, we're done. Help us. Feed me. Okay, we can do a turn. And these have only been in here for less than a minute. Like I said, it's rocket hot. Now, there you go. Oh, look, it works. I can actually grip them, kind of. Burn the shit out of my fingers on this, I know it. And about another minute. Oh, look! I was charring the bubbling there. This is some good, good stuff. But we have, there's one more step. What I want to do is kill the heat, and then break out. Mr. Blowtorch! Ha 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 ha! And just do a quick brulee on the top. 
Now, if you don't have a blowtorch, you could just take these and put them under the broiler in your oven or toaster oven, and that would be fine too. Or just not do this part. It's still gonna be very, very tasty. Ah, <laughs> yummy and burnt. So check it out, it's got that char underneath and it looks burnt, but it really isn't. It's just a char and it's delicious, um, kind of caramely, peppery om nom. So don't be afraid of that, that's good stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And here they are. Oh. Grilled, roasted, stuffed peppers. Now the green ones, of course, are the uh, jalapenos. They're a little bit of a bite. Hmm. And then the red one and the uh, yellow one are more of a sweet. So I know you like the, the spicy. And uh, yeah, no, it's just a little charred on the bottom. Dude, they smell yeah. amazing. Mmm. <laughs> well, cream cheese, right? <laughs> cream cheese, mm. chorizo, onions, peppers, grill, blowtorch. Oh ah. my God. Now, dude, you mentioned something about smoked nachos. Yes, indeed I did. For you, uh -huh. I'm gonna do, yes, it's possible, we're gonna do smoked nachos on the grill. This sounds so good, let's take a look. All right, how do you make smoked nachos on the grill? Easy peasy. First you start with a mini smoker, a couple of foil pans, and some hickory chips. Cover the bottom of the hickory chips. Take your top pan, a few air holes, right on the top. And while we're waiting for that to get smoking, build the nachos. I'm using a blend of a sharp and medium cheddar cheese, just shredded, but use whatever cheese you want. In fact, I bet pepper jack would be amazing at this, but I've just got cheddar, so what the hell? Nachos go right, put this way on there. Don't do this at home, I have asbestos fingers, haha. <laughs> now it's just a matter of time. This is gonna take five, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so just check on it every now and again, and just be patient. Check this out. Delicious, smoky nacho goodness. Awesome, I got my welder's glove on, so yes. this is really hot. Give it a go. Really hot, huh? This yeah. looks incredibly tasty. Smoked nachos. Smoked nachos. Oh my God. Mmm. There's something there that's just not a normal nacho. Yeah, it's, it's not a strong smoke. Yeah. The thing I love about this is not only does the cheese pick it up, hmm. the uh, chips do too. Yeah, wow. All right, well, hey, thanks very much for making this, dude. Thanks. You betcha. It's Gamer Eats Outdoors on the Grill. That's right. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing, and take care. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you like this Gamer Eats episode, you're gonna love some of the other ones we made, including a Doritos crusted chicken nuggets, also some pizza layers. That's right. Mmm, so tasty. And we did some silly stuff with a waffle iron. Yes, we abused waffle irons for your viewing pleasure. So definitely check those out. I'll put links in the upper right and also down in the video description. All right, thank you very much for watching.